Mission. I'm Aaron, and as the title suggests, we are talking about neighboring. Neighboring is close to my heart because my wife and family and I have experienced such blessing and favor as we've gotten to know the neighbors who live next door to us and who live in our street. And over the next several weeks, we're going to be breaking down this idea of neighboring uh, for us and how to do neighboring well, how to love your neighbors well as a Christian, how to live the gospel out in your, in your neighborhood. I got the good in the I guess it would be nice if you could interrupt How well do you know your neighbors? How well do they know you? Do you know their names? Do you know their stories? Do you know their one hour story or their two minute story? Do you know their family well? Do you know their, their, where they work? Do you know difficulties going on in their life? How to pray for them? Do you see that the place that you live in uh, has been divinely appointed to you to share the gospel? And I believe that every person watching this video has been divinely appointed or, or, or sent to the street and the neighborhood they live in for a specific reason. I believe that it also blesses us to be a blessing to the very people that we live next door to. In Leviticus chapter 12, or 19, verse 18, it says, You will love your neighbor as yourself and not take vengeance. In the book of Mark, uh, chapter 12, verse 31, it's the second greatest commandment is to love our neighbors as ourselves. And then in Romans tw uh, 13, 8 through 10, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong. And if you are doing this, you are fulfilling the law. And then finally in James chapter 2, verse 8, this, if you want to fulfill God's way, love your neighbor as yourself. And if you do, you're doing well. Have you considered that where you live is a place of ministry for the gospel to bear fruit? And then how well do you know your neighbors right now? The goal of neighboring, of course, is to go from being a stranger with somebody to an acquaintance, from an acquaintance to a friend, and then from a friend to having a spiritual friendship where you might be able to um, share the gospel, talk about Jesus, live your faith out, and of course do compassionate, kind things to your neighbors to reflect God's love for them that he has for them. And my prayer for you and for Orange County and wherever you live is that God will use you to spread his love and his peace and his joy to the neighborhoods that you live in. Thanks guys for watching. Talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.